Do you want to learn how to glide through a pattern with ease? Well, if you do, this video is for you. players Ron here welcome once again to the pool student channel and thank you very much for watching everyone hey thank you so much for participating in my YouTube short video where I laid out that straight ball pattern and asked you how to pick out your shots if you're just playing a stop shot now that that drill or that exercise was given to me by Tony Robles the day that he came to my place and visited me and worked with me on my pool game I will say this too about Tony real quick. He explains things in such a simplified way so it's not confusing. And it gets you to think about the importance of what it is that you're trying to learn. Great instructor. I would highly recommend if you guys ever want to have an instructor come and visit you from out of town. Now he has some deals where if you get a group of guys come together, he will come to your location and give you a, a seminar or a training on the game in whatever aspect that you guys wish to uh, you know delve into. So I just wanted to give him a shout out for that. Really good, I feel blessed to have had him here. So now let's get back to this pattern that he shared with me. Uh, one of the things that I thought I knew I was okay at was being able to use a stop shot as I would go through a pattern. Well, what he did is he laid these balls on the table and you're gonna see the correct layout or the correct sequence of uh, shooting them off. Um, and we'll explain that here in a second. But he laid them out and he asked me, what would you shoot first? And that got me thinking and I realized that, hey, this is what I'm thinking about stop shots because at the time I was, I realized that's, to, that's the way to keep it the most simple is in, in terms of going through your um, progression with your uh, straight pool pattern. So he laid this out and he had me take a picture of it. He says, practice this. He says, this will be of great help to you in picking out the pattern, but also in how to execute those stop shots that are so critical. So now, without further ado, let's look at this pattern. Okay, what I've done here is I've laid the balls out in numerical order. So now this is how we would shoot these. And I'll talk about that more in depth here in a minute. But I wanna also let you guys know that, you know, it was difficult for you to look at that video because you couldn't see exactly the angles. And I know that. So I understand if you didn't get it completely right, there's reason. Sometime in the future, I've got a light here, you know that, and I'd like to put a camera up above that shoots straight down on the table, but yet doesn't have like a, a fisheye effect, but I don't know how I'm gonna navigate this light. So uh, that's my dilemma there. But if you would have, would have had that view, I'm sure many of you would have gotten this answered correctly. Now to let you know, even though I was here when Tony Robles, the pool pro, showed up at my house and laid this out and you know showed me that this was a great exercise to you to work on our stop shot, he asked me which ball would you shoot first, second, third, and so on. And even as I was looking at it, I got I think to the sixth ball and it was and made the wrong choice. And he corrected me, explained why. So if you didn't get the answer right, don't worry about it because I was right here and couldn't get the answer right. So, uh, but now I understand exactly where he was coming from. Um, so I'm gonna kind of look at this and show you what it is that should be done. So let's start out right away. We've got the one ball right here, first shot into that corner. Stop shot, so we have a nice straight in for the two ball in this corner. Stop shot, now we have a straight in to the side pocket, stop shot, now we've got a straight in on the four to that corner, stop shot, now we got a straight in to this five in this side, stop shot, we got a, a straight in on the six to that corner, stop shot, seven to that corner, stop shot, eight to this corner, stop shot, nine to that corner. And I'll tell you what, it's not as easy as it looks. And here's the reason why I have found. 
The two most difficult shots that I struggle with are on the four and on the five. Now, the reason that I'm having trouble on the four to the five is that I'm jacked up just a little bit. That four ball is closer to that cushion, so I gotta hit down on the four ball, yet get the right speed and spin to stop the cue ball right here. If I drift ahead, I have no way that I can get on this seven with a straight end. If I, if I pull back a little, I'm gonna run right into the cushion. I can't get straight in on seven. Now, from the three to the four, that's pretty basic, but it's a little lengthy. So you gotta know how to stroke that with the right speed and spin to get that cue ball to stop dead once it hits the four because you've got to be right straight on because this seven hooks us. If we draw back a little bit, there's no way we can make this shot. If we go too far, we can never get straight in on the six. So you see the beauty of this exercise. It's ingenious, really. Um, it looks simple, but does hard for me. Uh, as a B player, I've tried this over and over again. I've made it through to the nine ball one time where I felt like I maybe moved my cue ball a total, and I'm saying on every shot, maybe a total of three quarters of an inch. So I had a little drift here, a little drift there, adding those all together, probably three quarters of an inch. And then I get on the nine and I draw it a little bit. So it's like, well, that's no good. I wanted to show you the best run off that I could. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going, I've made several attempts at this. And I've had, uh, I think my best was getting all the way to the six ball and I actually missed the seven ball, even though I was perfect on it. Cause this seven, I'll mention this as well. Remember I mentioned jacked up? This is a jacked up shot too, but it's closer. So it's not as difficult, but I was so focused on stopping the cue ball at the seven that I actually caught the point and missed the shot. Otherwise, I think I would have had my best run. But I'm gonna show you all of the shots, how they should look, because I've had several attempts and I've made good shots on every ball, and I'm going to show you each shot that looks the best. In other words, I'm gonna edit those in, okay? Kind of cheating, I guess. But that'll show you how the drill should look. I'm still going to work on this and I'm going to work to get it to the point where I have a stop shot and it's frozen every time because that's the precision we need during a straight pool rack. Remember, we've got a lot of clutter on the table and sometimes just an eighth of an inch can make the difference between a run out or being dead. Okay, so now let's look at that little video and you guys can see what needs to be done although I can't do it yet. You remember where I said I was going to edit all of the best shots into one clip? Well, I've decided not to do that, and this is actually the very first attempt of today when I was putting together this video. So I thought, you know what? It's not perfect. You'll see that I'm sometimes leaving the cue ball a little bit out of position. There's some side spin where I'm not hitting quite center. These are all things that I'll need to be working on in the future. But I thought, you know what? Let me just show you a real run out by Ron the Pool Student. And there you see I hit just a little bit to the left and I actually spun the cue ball. So I've got I've to be more cognitive of hitting center ball. And there I drew that back just slightly. I got away with it because there again, that seven ball can hook us on the five. This is the toughest shot for me right here. I'm jacked up. I've got to kind of almost pound the ball a little bit. I'm just uh, not quite good enough yet off the cushion. This is a very simple shot, but yet the next shot on the seven, once again, will be jacked up. This is the beauty of this exercise. I really appreciate Tony showing me this because this will help me and hopefully you guys to get through a simple rack where you have stop shots and you have to play precise. And simple shot here, a little bit jacked up on the nine, but we stop it nicely. 
So that was really fun for me and I hope that was fun for you guys. It give, gives us something to think about. You know, just the simplest shot, like a stop shot, we need to know how to play that with precision. When Tony visited me and explained that to me, it just, the light bulb went on. And then when he showed me this pattern, it was like, wow, this is so much better than just shooting a straight in stop shot, mid table or whatever. It's an actual pattern that we have to navigate shots. And we gotta play it with precision. Thanks for watching everyone. Leave some comments if you'd like. Until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.